Let's dive into it. So I'm gonna show you right now how to set up the lock because you're not always gonna give fluids or meds to your patient. You might just be putting an IV for access. So if a medic goes, hey, set up a lock, let me show you how to do you it. You have your IV lock, okay? And you have here your flush. Normal saline's right here, it's also in here, okay? Now, this is going to flush out the IV line and make sure it's patent, okay? This is for giving fluids to a patient or meds to a patient. Okay, so you're gonna take this off, okay? There's always caps on all this stuff, okay? There's always caps, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this lock, open that up. Here we are, there's our garbage. So now we have two sides of the IV lock. We have where the meds go, okay, where the, the flush goes. This right here is the magic and the money. This goes into the patient. So what we're gonna do here, and right in the middle here, if you want to like stop it, so you go like this, this would kink the line, if you will, like a hose. This would keep it painted, okay? It does not matter what you do with that. It's completely cool, okay? So what I'm gonna do to set up a lock is I cannot have it with air like this. Just like when I flush the line here, I need to flush the bubbles out. If you put an IV in a patient and you don't flush your lock and you don't flush your uh, fluid here, you're gonna put air in the patient. Air does not belong in, our, in our, our bloodstream, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cap off. Here we are, garbage. Now I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna twist. So I'm gonna go in, in, twist, in and twist, until I can't go anymore. Now right now I'm locked and loaded, I'm ready to go, okay? I'm gonna go over my garbage or whatever, and I'm just gonna push in. Now, I'm gonna show you the drips. See the drips? Okay? And you can see here, there's no, there's no bubbles in that. Totally clean, okay? This lock is ready to go. Now, at this point, if I was setting up fluid for a patient, I would get rid of this. I would then go to my lock, okay? Which would probably be on the bench seat or right on EMS, right in the patient's, the, the stretcher, right in their lap or whatever. And what I would do next is very simple. I'm gonna take the cap off of this, Okay, again, make sure this is off or fluid's gonna you know, come at you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my tubing here to my lock. This, every IV, every time gets a lock. So I'm gonna go in, I'm going to push and twist. Okay, and now you're gonna notice, I'm gonna run this and there we are. So now we have our full IV bag set up. So now what we've done is we've just set up our medic with a lock and even fluids. We've done a great service. Guys, if you really enjoyed this video and you're looking for even more in-depth videos, if you're looking to become a sharp student, if you're looking to become an EMS provider that your instructors, that your preceptors, and that your other classmates, they're proud of you. They, Think that you are sharp at your job and you're proud of the EMT or paramedic provider that you've become during school. Guys, this is why in the description down below, I made the paramedic coach course. We're adding some new things. I have a private student Facebook group. You can ask me whatever questions you want during school and I will get back to you with basically near immediate responses as well as the 100 plus video library all the way from EMT level BLS to ALS stuff prescription meds, EMS meds. This is the ultimate prep course and in-class online course to make you pass school on easy mode. So if you wanna pass school on easy mode and stop reading textbooks and watch videos like this, click down below. It's only $49. Guys, I'll see you next time. Cheers.